Hey fam, it's your boy King of the Buns here with a really quick video on a few settings you might want and might need in your reshade now that you have come over from G-Shade. First things first, we're going to look over here at input processing. Standard, it is set as block all input when overlay is visible. If that's so, you can't move your character, you can't move your camera. So you're going to want to change this to either block input when cursor is an overlay, which just means that you can't do anything while over the overlay, but you can do it when you're not, or pass on all input, which just lets you do it even when your mouse is on the overlay and anything. Your choice which one you like. I prefer block input when cursor is on overlay, but you do what's best for you. Next, if you prefer that your screenshots are named in the same way that you had them when G-Shade was naming them, for consistency or any other reason, you're going to need to change the way that your screenshots are named. You can do that over here, where it says screenshot names. And you can see actually that mine is probably different than yours, because I've already set this up. And you're just going to want to have your screenshot name part look just like mine. I'm going to have that down in the description below, so it should be easy for you to just copy and paste and it'll make this easier. Another really important thing that you might want to do is unclick clear alpha channel. Clear alpha channel is basically going to get rid of the alpha channel, which is necessary for doing chroma key. So if you want to do any chroma key, you want this unselected. You also probably want to have save current preset file unselected because when it is selected, every time you take a screenshot, you're going to add the preset to where your screenshot is saved. A whole file for the preset every single time. You probably don't want that, so unselect that. The other two options, you can kind of look at yourself, figure out what you want, and handle that. One more thing that you may want to mess with yourself uh, is clicking the group effect files with tabs instead of a tree. Basically what that is, is if we go over to home here, you can see that my effects are all in little tabs. I can click here, click here, and go between them instead of having to scroll up and down. For me, it's a little bit better, though, as you add more effects, you add more tabs, and it gets a little more uh, tiny. But, you know, you do what is best for you, and that's about it. Uh, if you want to know how to change your UI color like I've done, it's pretty simple. It's just down here. You go to custom simple or custom advanced, and then you just change it through these options. But yeah, so thanks for uh, watching this simple video, and I hope that helps you in making your reshade life just a little bit better. Have a great day, my buns.